Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to Supercar Models, my channel, where I'm building a 1 5th scale R34 GTR Sky. So, what I'm going to do today is carry on building out this hood. I really want to try and get the hood finished, I think. I think what I'd like to do first is try and finish up the construction of the main Z-Tune style hood vent on the top here. And, um, yeah, I think I might change the construction. Like, as you can see previously, I made this piece here as a, as a good starting place for the hood vent. And I'd attach it to the hood with several tabs on this piece here that go into two slots that I cut into the top of the hood. But yeah, I don't know, it just kind of looks a bit messy. It doesn't really fit that well. And um, yeah, I, somehow I need to construct the rest of the, the kind of the hood, like vent parts that go across like this. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that with this construction method that I've started with. So what I might do is remove this and start constructing um, kind of the vent as a, as a complete unit off the car. That I can just then glue on or completely finished up. So I've got like a new idea for how to construct it. I'll remove this and start making parts for the new idea and see how that goes. Okay, so these hood vent parts are starting to come together. 
um, as you just saw me do, um, I'm just kind of you know doing my usual process of like iterating the parts and I'm you know just getting them like making them over and over, getting the shape and the form and the size and everything um, of them and the fit much much better each time. So that's starting to come together pretty good. But what I'm thinking is the uh, I might actually just kind of put a pause on working on the hood vent for a few minutes and draw up these kind of outer main outer hood panel parts uh, because it's such a nice day here. I want to cut those out take them outside and paint them. So yeah, I'll draw up those parts, cut them out of card and get those painted. So it's a new day and yesterday afternoon I managed to get outside and paint those parts. So that's as usual um, two coats of the base eye blue base coat and then two good coats of, of clear on the top. So next thing to do is to get those fitted onto the, the hood. So let's do that. Alright good, so those hood parts all went on pretty good and they fit up not too bad, not too bad at all. One thing I did notice is I've got a few spots in this paint, oh, damn, which is really annoying. So that's, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but uh, otherwise it's not looking too bad. As you saw from the previous clips, all I did was put like a thin strip of glue around the very outside of each of these body panel parts. I found that that's all that's needed for these kinds of pieces um, from experience. If I kind of went like this and put glue all over the, the whole area for each part like that, when it dries, you kind of see like the lines underneath of where I'd put the glue. So yeah, if I just put a little bit around the outside, 
lay the panel down flat then it tends to glue a lot flatter and smoother and just dry yeah um, a bit more in the shape that I want it to so next what I need to do is just finish designing all the parts for this Z-Tune style hood vent piece it's almost there there's just two more kind of blade pieces to make and fit here and then I'll have to make and cut um, cut out and fit this final piece for around the outside get that looking really really nice and then what I'll probably do for this one is just spray paint the entire thing once it's assembled so yeah just do the the order of assembly a little bit different for this piece so yeah carry on get this piece finished up and then I can fit it to the hood Okay, so I took that vent assembly outside and gave it a good spray paint. That turned out pretty nice. It's going to need a little bit longer to dry, obviously, before I fit it onto the top of the hood. So I'll put that aside just for now, and I might start doing a bit of work on this kind of windscreen area. So basically, this black surround part needs to be refined a little bit more. You can see that the edge of it needs to run parallel with the edge of the A pillar down here. It kind of gets a bit closer as it gets towards the bottom, so I need to fix that line. And also in the bottom corners, you can see how I've made a bit of a cut and folded up that kind of bottom corner on both sides. And that's because it was kind of, this piece was coming around and hitting the inside of these two main big structural foam board parts. But what I'm thinking is it might actually be better to cut a notch, take a bit of a notch out of these two inner structural parts and then not have it cut like that, just have it go straight around as a single piece. Like that would just look much more like the real thing and just look tidier. So might make all of those kind of little modifications and recut a new version of this windscreen surround. So we'll do that now.
right, it's a new day. And as you would have seen in the footage just now, yesterday afternoon I finished up assembling this hood and it turned out really good. I did still get a few more of those little specks and like spots in the paint, which really bothers me. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't quite know how to stop that. But um, other than that, looks really good. So I'd spent some time just carefully crafting and, and, and refining and getting those parts for the hood vent all sorted out, fitting together nicely and glued it together. And took that outside and spray painted that and that looked really really good and then what i did was i printed out this kind of like template type thing from my parts file taped that over the top of the hood to get the um kind of the position where to glue it on like exactly right so that worked out quite well once it had been glued into place i glued this kind of final outer piece carefully around the outside and that looks really good too it's just a little bit of a small gap which i don't really like there as well but I don't know, it's not too bad. The rest of these hood parts all went on pretty good as well, so they look really nice. And you can see what I've done is I've designed the front leading edge of the hood here to kind of extend out a little bit further than it needed to. So the hood actually finishes it with this line here. But I've added this extra extension bit so that when I create and fit the bumper, there'll be a little bit for this part of the bumper just to kind of slot onto, and it will make sure that that edge is really, really nice. And I should be able to get the, the two edges of the two panels lined up really nicely thanks to that little extra lip. So I think that should work out pretty good. And you also saw me remove the hood completely, draw up a new version of this windscreen surround piece and fit that. And I also like created a recess on each side of the kind of inner structure parts for the car so that the bottom corners of this windscreen surround area fit nicely as well. So that looks much tidier and much better now too. So all up, good progress. And I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I do spend quite a lot of time prototyping these parts out of paper first. Like this part here, for example, that goes around the front of the vent. I sort of crafted that out of paper pretty roughly to start with, got the shape pretty close and the size pretty accurate. And then I was able to scan that into back into Illustrator, retrace it, draw it out, print it out, and got it refined and pretty close to what I needed to in the end. So yeah, that's a pretty good process. I mean, I'm not really using CAD as such at this point, but yeah, my plan is to get a 3D printer soon and start creating some of the details for the build with that. So like the little kind of window washer jets for here and the side mirrors and eventually the wheels, etc. I want to be able to CAD and 3D print um, all of those kinds of details. So stick around and see how I get on with that. But yeah, that's good progress on that hood. Good to see some color on that finally. Uh, that's all I've got time for. Next, I'll probably start working on those kind of front and rear windscreen areas. Get those tidied up and sorted out and finished. And then I can start moving on to kind of probably the rear bumper or something like that. So it's going to be good. Builds moving forward. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.